time to start working on these three-point arms. Our main subject that we have to work on is these lift cylinders. We're going to be pulling them off. All there is is one hose and pull the pins out. And quite honestly, I'm expecting the pins to be the issue. On this one, it's a little bit more obvious. The seal for the cylinder here is shot. See it's got cracks going on around it. This other side, the seal is actually bad enough to the point where it's actually cracked out and missing all together. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the one cylinder off and take it up to get the right seals ordered because there are different seals that are available. We want to be certain we, we get the right ones. So I'll try to get this film for you as best I can. Not too bad, does it? Not really. I mean, this is where the cylinder is actually going to pivot. This is rusty, but this doesn't generally move. Isn't going to move. So where the cylinder is, it's fairly clean. So it could look a lot worse. We've got some scuzz right there. We'll have to clean out. The second I hit that with the impact, things just drop. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, guys, this is what we've been working on. We got the cylinder off. We're finding a whole list of things that are bound up on it. A little point in case, this blower pin. It's, well, I'll tell you what, the pin actually has yet to move off the cylinder. It's probably going to resort to either being put in the press, it is probably the next step on it. Um, the cylinder, the seal is shot. We can't hardly move the cylinder ourselves. We'll be using the skid. We have to use the skid steer, raise and lower it. This just sits in here. There's no, there's nothing on the lower end that actually holds that piston in. That will actually just pull out the end and I can replace the seals. Uh, it's starting to get a list of things that we need to replace as we go here. Uh, this is what the tractor looks like. Granted, we only got one cylinder off. We have to do the other side. But that's where we got it out of, full of crud. Granted, all this isn't from the inside. It's just built up around the cylinder. But all this is going to get cleaned up. And then uh, we're going to be putting a new pin on each side of it. Uh, the rest of this... Once we got the cylinders unhooked, just like I said, we can move the arms freely. We're actually moving them by hand. We got the arms. The arms are all free. Those three tubes of grease that I put in over the summer on those Zerks that I added definitely seem to help. We can move everything uh, with the piston or the cylinders unhooked freely without any help. Uh, Ryan and I. That's, we can move them, just the two of us. We have to go through on the cylinder. This one, there's a bushing in there that has to be pulled, removed on both of them. We're gonna clean up all of these openings because they are full of crud. And this is going to turn into probably a couple day project. So I'm just gonna label this probably day one or first part or something, but this is going to be a couple of videos yet. It's a ways from getting put back together, but it'll be nice to be able to use this tractor and not have to worry about whether the arms are going to drop on us. Definitely the cylinder was the big problem. The fact that it's not able to pivot and also the fact that at least on that one, and I'm seeing the other one actually be able to look at it closer. The seal is 
uh, cracked out on the other one, um, that that is, the cylinders are our problem. So, thanks for watching.